So I have here this image that I want to be able to use as kind of like a watermark. The problem is that it's got a lot of color and a lot of gradient. So what I might normally do, well, not normally, what I might intuitively do is just create my background here, give it some sort of color. That's a nice blue there. That's a nicer blue. Um, say send this one to back and then just make her a little more transparent right so put her at 40 percent problem with that is there's still all this um, purple in there that I don't want I just want it blue so let me bring her back to 100 percent for a moment and I'm gonna make a copy so command C and I'm going to go up to help here and just type gray because um, I want to convert her to grayscale. So it shows you how to get through the menu there. Edit, edit colors, convert to grayscale. I'm just going to click here. So now she's grayscale. And then I'm going to paste and see if I can just get it lined up right on top. For some reason, sometimes it lets me do this real easy like, and sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, I can get her on top there, and then I'm just going to check and see if I can make it a little bit more accurate. Bring that in. Okay, close enough. Well, pretty exact. Okay, so now I've got the copy on top. I'm going to turn the copy to white. Okay, what did I select wrong here? I think I selected her path instead of her as an object. Okay back all right now she's white and I'm gonna do arrange and send backward so I want the gray one to be on top so I currently have the white one selected now I'm gonna hold shift I'm also selecting the gray one if I had selected the gray one first then I could go to select next object below now the white one's selected as you can see over here it's a little transparency tool that's open now I'm going to shift and click on the gray one now you can see the gray ones also selected from this drop down menu in the transparency tool which is that right there and if you didn't know how to get there you can go to window transparency if your setup is different in some way um, anyway so I'm at this drop down make opacity mask and there we are. Now I can take her as a whole down to say 40%. Or if I wanted to go even lighter than that, maybe just 10% and get kind of that watermark effect. Oops, nope, wrong thing. Can Command Z undo there. So I'm gonna bring this back up to 100% for a second and show you another thing. So I can double click on this and select just an individual part of her. Take it down by some percentage. Let's put that more closer, like 60 there. Okay, back out, click away. Now just her body is at that lower percentage. Now a lot of times it's better to do um, some of that individual transparency stuff before you take the whole group and mix the two together as uh, the, the original and the copy as the opacity mask and the reason for that is now if I select for example just her hair and put that at 40 percent click out whoops I didn't get it selected there we go now it's selected put that at 40 percent now you can start to see the transparency underneath is showing through so you just gotta play with it a little bit um, sometimes back out and then retry so that you get the right transparencies the way that you want them. Um, but anyway, uh, hopefully that was helpful. And uh, there we are. If this was useful for you, please go ahead and give that little thumbs up button a nice click. Also, you'll see the notes are in the comments section down below. You can either at the end of the article or right up at the top. Give it a like, tweet, plus one, whatever. Thanks.